Let's start with the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS outbreak here in Korea. For the latest, we turn to our Pak Ji Wan standing by at the news center. Five more cases have been confirmed in Korea, bringing the total to 35. Uh, can you give us the latest on that, Ji Wan? Well, Daniel, the health ministry says two of the new patients are medical personnel who treated confirmed MERS patients, and the other three visited family members and patients who shared hospital wards with MERS patients. And two of the new patients had no direct contact with the first patient, which means they are tertiary infections. And also, a Korean Air Force officer stationed at the Osan Air Base has been isolated after an initial test showed that he had the virus. The health ministry's Center for Disease Control will perform additional tests to make a final MERS confirmation. The officer had been previously hospitalized at a civilian facility in Gyeonggi-do province that treated MERS patients. If the second test comes back positive, the officer would be the first MERS case in the Korean military. Some 90 soldiers who, had, who may have been in contact with the suspected patient are quarantined in their homes to prevent further infection. Well, Jiwon, the number of people in quarantine is increasing by the day. Where are we at now? Yes, Daniel. Well, health authorities have so far placed over 1,600 people in quarantine, about 1,500 in their homes, and the rest in state-run medical facilities. In another preventive measure, over 800 schools and preschools have decided to temporarily close for the remainder of this week, with the majority of them in Gyeonggi-do province, where the first MERS case was reported. Well, obviously, parents and educators are taking necessary precautions. Joanne, can you tell us more about how dangerous this virus is? Well, Daniel, the fatality rate for previously documented cases of the MERS virus is roughly 35 percent. But here in Korea, we are at two deaths, a fatality rate just above 5 percent, but it's still early to say. Health officials say your reaction to the virus depends largely on the strength of your immune system. MERS may be more dangerous for those already suffering from respiratory issues or kidney failure or anyone using steroids, which are known to weaken the immune system. The first the first patient who died due to the virus was being treated with steroids due to arthritis. The second MERS death was a 71-year-old who was suffering from chronic lung disease. People over the age of 50 seem to be more vulnerable. Okay, we're learning a little bit more about the virus by the day. We, do we know about, what do you know about how the virus spreads so far, Joanne? And uh, what is the government doing to contain it? Well, Daniel, researchers still don't know a lot about this virus, but according to the health ministry, the virus can be transmitted through a saliva. So if an infected patient coughs within two meters of you, transmission is possible. That said, the government is really stressing that all the confirmed patients picked up the virus at hospitals where they stayed pretty close to previous MERS patients for extended periods. And as for now, there are no known cases of people contracting MERS outside of of hospitals. But in terms of preventing infection, officials say the more you wash your hands, the better, and wearing a mask could help. And if you have symptoms, visit a hospital or call the government's MERS hotline. The government also launched a dedicated task force on Wednesday. We'll have authorities and local experts will serve as a control tower to deal with the outbreak. But there's definitely a public backlash, as many people feel the government didn't really quickly um, the job it's done enough and missed the window to contain the first MERS patient. Well, thank you for that, Jiwon. Uh, do keep us updated on the latest developments.